Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick reminder that our raffle is still going on. Uh, the raffle to win a custom piece made by Penny Hawk. Uh, I will link to the video where I give a little more in-depth explanation on what you can win. Uh, that was in the last video in the Truck Spotting Volume 85 video. Basically, all you got to do is go to our online store at www.logcarmag.com slash store. Uh, purchase an item. Every $20 gets you one entry. I'll include a link to our online store below so it, it's clickable, easy to get to. Um, I'll also include a link to Penny Hawk's Facebook page so you can check out some of his work. The video you're about to see is the completion of the bullhead truck that Randy Taylor and his guys at ProFab were working on. I'm going to go ahead and put a little montage of the truck in the shop being worked on and then we'll go into the video where I'm talking to the owner. Thanks to all of you for your continued support and make sure to like this video, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. guys, I'm, I'm here with Tom Brittingham. Uh, he's got the bullhead truck. If you watch my channel, you saw it kind of come together at, at ProFab. Um, so it's done. I'll do a walk around of it. I'll also link to the build videos below. Um, so why don't you give us the basic specs on the truck? So it's a, it's a 2022 Peterbilt uh, 39. 605 Cummins 2050 Torque. Uh, we did a 302 wheelbase, kind of a little hint to Delaware since we're out of Middletown, Delaware. Delaware yep. So, so um, this is uh, from one of our best drivers we've had. Um, you know, we wanted to do something a little different. So we did uh, diamond pearl white paint with a candy apple red frame. Tried to do a bunch of custom stuff with it. So, it is. But what yeah. all did, did Randy do to the. So, truck? obviously, we did the bumper, um, step boxes, cab panels, front and rear air cleaners. The visor is the only one piece visor they've ever done. Um, we had all the lights smoked on the watermelons, all that. He actually had to cut the tank down and move it forward because Peterbilt shipped them uneven. So, wow. Yeah, there's a lot of extra work that you don't see where they had to move a bunch of stuff inside the frame rails to get everything to kind of be symmetrical. So, okay. 
Yep. And uh, what's this truck going to be used for? What are you guys going to haul with this? Um, we'll probably do a little bit of everything. It's going to start out doing hopper and then probably going to do a little bit of flatbed work soon. So that's that's the goal. Okay, cool. Yep. And where do you guys run? All over. Yeah, we'll, we'll go everywhere. So we've got local guys, regional guys, and okay. then we have a couple guys that'll, that he'll, he'll stretch his legs. He'll go out to the Midwest. He's already told nice. me he's going that way. So, awesome. yep, yep, yep. Very cool. Well, thank you. I'm glad we could kind of follow the build along with yeah, man. what we did. I wish I could have gotten over there a little bit more yep. to kind of update it, but, you yep. know. All good. But, uh, yeah, appreciate yeah. it. Thank cool. you. I appreciate it. Nice have a good day. Yep.